Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at uh, the differences between normal and sim steering on Forza Horizon 5. Uh, this is something that's let me down a little bit with this game because uh, simulation steering doesn't seem to be removing the physics assists that are present in normal steering, which really doesn't allow you to fully control the car like you would, or like I would like to. Um, but anyway, we'll show you um, give you an example of what it actually does and then we'll change it up to simulation so we can compare the two so as you can see we're just on normal or standard steering they have it labeled now um, so we're just going to do a quick test so what we're going to be doing is basically just getting the car slightly out of shape and watching how the physics assist um, helps to keep the car stable so if we open the telemetry up we can first look at the suspension telemetry so we'll get up to a little bit of speed here. We'll just do some quick changes of direction. You can see as the spring unloads and then loads to the opposite side, there is a slight pause as the weight transfers. And as we get the car slightly more out of shape, the greater that pause becomes. And if we watch the G-force telemetry, you can see the same thing. The G-force hesitates around the centre as it changes direction. And then the more we get out of shape, the more it tries to keep the car stable by sort of holding the your momentum of the car to um, keep it stable. So that is, in essence, what the, the physics base assist does on normal steering. Uh, so now we're going to change it up to simulation steering and do the same thing and it's a, I find it a little bit odd that they don't even list uh, simulation steering in the descriptions it's like they almost totally forgot about it and it, it kind of shows because at the moment uh, as you're about to see simulation steering is basically exactly the same as standard steering so we'll jump back into our game again so once again we'll first look at the suspension as the car weight transfers get up to a little bit of speed you can see already the weight transfer is being halted, it's not moving freely. Then as we get the car more out of shape, it halts that that momentum even more. We watch the G-forces. As you can see it's just completely halting that momentum of the car, which really prevents us from doing some cool things like doing aggressive Scandinavian flicks. So if I get up to a little bit of speed, and do a sharp turn in, that should throw the car into a really big slide, but it almost has no effect because the physics are just being so dampened. Which is great for the casual player, but Forza is always known for being, you know, accessible to a wide audience, and it, I feel like with this, I don't know if it's intended or not, um, but the way it is it kind of eliminates the uh, the hardcore guys like myself from really enjoying the game uh, which is a bit of a letdown it's still fun don't get me wrong but I would just really like to be able to be aggressive with the cars but it really just doesn't let me I can't do like really quick snap transitions because it just takes a long time to respond Our transition speed just always feels the same. Doesn't matter how f how aggressive you try and be, you just can't get it to do what you want it to do. And just for comparison's sake, we'll do the same thing in Forza Motorsport 7, so you can see the differences between the two when simulation steering actually works the way it's supposed to. So right now we're on normal steering. Do the same thing, get up to a little bit of speed start throwing the car around you can see the same same results on normal steering the weight transfer is being halted to keep the car more stable then obviously the more we get it out of shape the longer it halts it so now we'll quickly put it on simulation steering now we'll do the same thing and you can see instantly 
the g-force is much more positive when it changes direction and it really gives you full control of the weight of the car so as you can see it just gives you full total control of the weight transition of the car even in drift as soon as I like reef the wheel in the opposite direction the direction change in the car is immediate uh, which is very realistic and I'll show you a couple of real world clips here as well of where you can see where drivers slightly overcorrect and the, the rate the car changes direction is extremely fast um, and it's not forgiving in the real world either Anyway, that's going to wrap up today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.